Jude, a servant of Jesus Christ and the brother of James, to those of God's chosen who have been made holy by God the Father and kept safe for Jesus Christ, may mercy and peace and love be increased in you my loved ones while my thoughts were full of a letter which i was going to send to you about our common salvation it was necessary for me to send you one requesting with all of my heart to go on fighting strongly for the faith which has been given to the saints once and forever for certain men have come amongst you secretly, marked out before in the holy writings for this evil fate, men without the fear of God, turning his grace into an unclean thing and false to our Master and Lord Jesus Christ. Now, it is my purpose to put you in mind, though you once had knowledge of these things, of how the Lord, having taken the people safely out of Egypt, later sent destruction on those who had no faith. And the angels who did not keep to their kingdom, but went out from the place which was theirs. He had put in eternal chains in a dark night until the great day of judgment. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the towns near them, having like these given themselves up to unclean desires and gone after strange flesh, having been made an example undergoing the punishment of eternal fire. In the same way, these dreamers make the flesh unclean, having no respect for authorities and saying evil of rulers. Now, when Michael, one of the chief angels, was fighting against the evil one for the body of Moses, Fearing to make use of violent words against him, he only said, May the Lord be your judge. But these men say evil about such things as they have no knowledge of, and the things which they do have a natural knowledge, like beasts without reason, are the cause of their destruction. A curse is upon them. They have gone in the ways of Cain, running uncontrolled into the error of Balaam for reward, and having come to destruction by saying evil against the Lord like Korah. These men are unseen rocks at your love feasts. When they take part in them with you, keepers of the sheep who, without fear, take food from the sheep. They are clouds without rain rushing before the wind, wasted trees with no fruit, twice dead and pulled up by the roots. They are violent waves of the sea, foaming with their shame. Wandering stars for whom the darkest night is kept in store for them. The prophet Enoch, who was the seventh after Adam, said of these men, The Lord came with ten thousands of his saints to be the judge of all, and to give a decision against all those whose lives are unpleasing to him because of the evil acts which they have done and because of all the hard things which sinners without fear of God have said against him. 
These are men who make trouble, ever desiring change, going after evil pleasures, using high-sounding words, respecting men's positions in hopes of reward. But you, my loved ones, keep in memory the words which were said before by the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. How they said to you, in the last days, there will be men who, guided by their evil desires, will make sport of holy things. These are men who make divisions, natural men not having spirits. But you, my loved ones, building yourselves upon the most holy faith and making prayers in the Holy Spirit, keep yourselves in the love of God. Look for eternal life through the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ and have pity on those who are in doubt and to some give salvation, pulling them out of the fire. And on some have mercy with fear, hating even the clothing which is made unclean by the flesh. Now to him who is able to keep you from falling and give you a place in his glory, free from all evil, with great joy to our God, our Savior, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Let us give glory and honor and authority and power before all time, now, and forever. Amen.